Researchers think they may soon have a cure to type 1 diabetes. It's a procedure that uses the body's own stem cells to create cells that produce insulin. As Doreen Gensler tells us, it could eliminate the need for constant blood sugar monitoring and insulin injections. My endocrinologist looked at me and was like, in your lifetime, you'll see a cure. <laughs> Those are words I still hang on to. Ever since Alexis McDowell was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at the age of 13, she's had to closely monitor her blood sugar levels, making sure she gets enough insulin to stay healthy. Because if things go wrong, the complications could be very serious, even deadly. I can lose my eyesight, lose my, my kidneys can go bad, I can lose a limb, bad circulation, heart disease, all that. But now some doctors believe they're getting closer to a cure that could dramatically change the lives of people like McDowell. People deserve a cure for this disease. They deal with it every day. It's so, so hard. In patients with type 1 diabetes, the body thinks the pancreas is a foreign invader. So it begins to destroy the organ's islet cells. Those are the cells that produce insulin. Now researchers at Georgetown University Medical Center are trying to create islet cells from adult stem cells so that they can be transplanted back into the patient, eliminating the need for constant blood sugar monitoring and insulin injections. Endocrinologist Dr. Stephen Clement. The, the crux of this research is to basically change the whole paradigm so instead of just giving shots in response to what the person needs, basically develop cells that can make insulin again. Scientists have transplanted islet cells from one person to another in the past, but patients were required to take strong anti-rejection medications, and that can take more of a toll on the body than the diabetes itself. But Dr. Clement says creating islet cells from a person's own stem cells would prevent the need for that kind of medication. The next step is then we have to grow a lot of islets. We have to grow probably about a half a billion islets in order to cure diabetes in a human. Doctors are now trying to figure out the best way to grow the new cells. Then they would try to implant them in animals, and if that goes well, they would be tested on humans. All in all, Dr. Clement says it will take anywhere from two to five years. For patients like Alexis McDowell, they're willing to wait as long as it takes to get the cure that they have been dreaming about. I cannot imagine if there was a cure for diabetes, what that would feel like. That was Doreen Gensler reporting about 3 million Americans do have type 1 diabetes. Guys, go ahead and have that another cup of coffee. It may be good for your prostate. Harvard researchers found men who drink six cups of coffee a day are 60% less likely to get prostate cancer. It doesn't matter if it's decaf or fully leaded. Drinking three cups a day will reduce prostate cancer by one third.